All right, tonight's big story is this weekend's, we'll say, dry run. Is it actually a dry run if we're talking about the ocean? Nah, whatever. It's in the prompter. If you missed it, a tsunami advisory actually went into effect along the Oregon coast Saturday morning. It was triggered by an underwater volcano that erupted near the island nation of Tonga. The explosion sent shockwaves through the Pacific Ocean. It put the entire west coast of the U.S. and Canada on alert for a tsunami. Officials were quick to give details. Again, they said this is an advisory and they expected waves of one to three feet. Here's a rep from the National Weather Service to explain exactly what that means. The tsunami advisory means you need to stay out of the water and away from the shore. This is particularly impactful for marinas, bays and harbors and some of those smaller areas along the coast. A tsunami advisory is not our highest level of alert, but it does mean that at least some level of water will be inundating the coastline and those impacts should be relatively minor, but they are going to occur. We really appreciated that video. And by the way, to reiterate what you saw on his graphic there, a tsunami advisory is less extreme than a tsunami warning. That being said, a tsunami at this level can still bring in dangerous waves and strong currents. And we saw some of that. In some areas, there were powerful surges. Waves overtook beaches. Experts warned people in the inundation zone and people on boats had to get to higher ground. A lot of them did. That being said, did everyone heed those warnings? Well, we will say maybe at best. There were a lot of people who we saw who did evacuate to someplace safer, but there were also many others who did exactly the opposite. They came out to the coast specifically to see the tsunami. Now, to be clear, our crew talked to those who got to higher ground, but then stuck around from that higher ground to watch the waves. It's an exciting time to see something like this. Um, you know, we're um, you know, I think the big waves and just seeing the way that it ebbs and flows and, uh, you know, hopefully nobody uh, is going out to the beach and everybody knows about it. You can't let it deter you from having fun, ruining your whole life. You got to go to the beach. The beach is a happy place. So, you know, you just kind of weigh the risks and go, yeah, I think we'll be good. It'll enjoy our fun weekend for my daughter's birthday. I feel like if you're if we're careful enough, we won't be completely caught off guard. And uh, if it develops into a situation where it is a certainty, I think we'll notice there's a lot of people around. Somebody's going to get a notification. <laughs> yeah, we definitely don't want it to ruin anyone's whole life. I think I just want to make that clear. Uh, others did actually stay out on the beach in some areas and some actually drove their cars out to the dangerous spots to get that up close and personal look and we get it. Look, it's cool to see those huge waves and we know we're not going to be able to stop the people determined to go out there despite that risk. I mean, if you've ever lived in an area that gets hurricanes, you know this really well. People go to the beach, they surf, they throw hurricane parties. I don't get it, but it happens. Please remember a tsunami though is still a dangerous emergency. In fact, let's take a look at the last time Oregon got hit by a tsunami by diving into the KGW vault. Love that music. This is video from 2011 after an earthquake hit Japan and the shock waves sent a tsunami across the Pacific to the West Coast. Waves in some areas were more than six feet high and in Brookings, they did millions of dollars in damage to a marina. Then there's docks in Depot Bay. Those were also damaged and four people, four people in Gold Beach had to be rescued from the water. Now, Experts say when the big one hits the Pacific Northwest, we won't have much time before the tsunami comes in, and it's expected to cause a tsunami of up to 100 feet. To remind you, this one was one to three feet, and it was several hours before it hit the West Coast. We had those alerts. We had those warnings. So please take this weekend as a cue, though, to come up with a plan. Have an evacuation route prepared. Don't put yourself or anyone else in danger by in the case of a more extreme example, going down to the beach to watch the waves. It's just not worth it. Now, all that said, I do want to get to a Facebook comment, and we got a lot of comments like these. It wasn't just Ryan, but Ryan kind of summed it up writing about the tsunami. He wrote one or three feet run for the hills, and then he added like a shocked emoji. I said it's like, 
you know, Kevin in Home Alone, like putting his hands on his cheeks. Uh, and, and we assume it was sarcastic, like Ryan, we get it. So let's bring in meteorologist Joe Ranieri to kind of take the heat off me and be the butt of Ryan's joke there for a second. Um, but like th those wave heights, a lot of people had that question, like one to right. three feet. So what does that what does that mean? Yeah, a lot of people looking at some of those sound bites, Maggie, were a little bit cavalier. I know one to three feet doesn't sound like it's that big of a deal, but you never know. Some of these waves could come in a little bit higher as they come on shore. So let's break down exactly when we're talking about the tsunami height wave. So here's a look at what it is. It's the height is the crest over a normal wave height. I'll get to that in a second. I'll break it down for you. But this weekend, wave heights were anywhere from one foot. That's down on the southern Oregon coast down to about four feet. That was near uh, the central and southern part of the California coast. That's where most of the inundation with some of the storm surges we saw moving in. Uh, but again, throughout Oregon and Washington and Alaska, the uh, waves of height weren't all that large. So most of us didn't notice anything. So now let's kind of break it down into the perspective. Here's a look at the current wave heights right now. Not all that impressive right now, anywhere from five to six feet. We're used to seeing the, the waves a little bit higher at times this time of year, especially with king tides along the Oregon coast. But let's add, let's say two to three feet on top of this. Now instead of about a six foot wave, Maggie, you're looking at closer something to an eight, maybe a 10 foot wave. Mm. And again, that brings in a lot of strength and it could, like we saw in 2011, could easily cause a lot of damage to harbors and bays. We saw evidence of that in 2011 with uh, down in Brookings that you mentioned from the vault, as well as through parts of uh, Crescent City down in California. Millions of dollars in damages and the wave heights were just a couple feet higher. So it's important to, to, to pay attention to those advisories. Again, this one this weekend was just an advisory, but still something to keep in mind when those alerts go out because we've never seen, or I shouldn't say never, it's been a long time since we've seen a tsunami advisory up and down the entire Washington or West Coast, including Canada. Something I wouldn't call it unheard of, but when you see something like that come out, yeah. you got to pay attention to it. And you kind of heard to the um, the you know National Weather Service telling them if you can stay off the beach, it's best. And we saw a lot of people just ignoring those. But it's important to kind of pay attention to that when wave heights you might think are two to three feet, ah, no big deal. Like uh, that gentleman just you know said in our viewer comments. But it's still important to pay close attention to the the you know the heights. You know it could be anywhere from one to three, if not higher. Again, uh, it all depends on the topography down in the um, ocean as well and elevation too plays a big role. Yeah, definitely. As you said, it's one to three feet above normal. So if normal is five, we're talking like eight, nine foot waves. Exactly. So that's really important to keep that in mind. All right, Joe, I appreciate it. And uh, I'll send Ryan's comments your way in the okay. future. <laughs> Okie dokie. Thank you so much.